Hey there friends and fellow crafters, it's Leanne and I am here today with Imagine Crafts. I'm going to be using fireworks in dandelion, electric orange radiant neon, as well as electric yellow, Versamark, and clear embossing powder. I have a DIY frame from Dollar Tree and a set of uh, Connect mini alphabet dies from MFT. So I just took the frame out of the package and I am removing the back and that photo that comes in it. The photo is very cute. It will end up back in there until I can get the picture printed that I actually want to put in here. Uh, this is a gift for one of my granddaughters. And so here we go getting started. I'm using a ink blender brush from Cat Scrappiness and this radiant neon in electric yellow. And I am ink blending all around the sun. I thought this was such a great color for this uh, picture frame. And so that's, that's what we're doing here. So it's not taking a whole lot of ink to change the color on this, but it is coming, it is coming out the way that I was hoping it would. Um, this color does show up on this frame perfectly without even uh, having to prep it first. You saw me take it straight out of the package. The uh, Radiant Neons are pigment inks, so they do take a bit of time to dry. Um, And it will wash off your, if you use it with stamps, it will wash off with water or your stays on stamp cleaner, uh, which is an all purpose stamp cleaner and drying time all depends upon the material that you're using for it or using it on. I am using my heat tool to dry it quickly. You could see I did spray the dandelion fireworks on it. The reason why I did that was to make sure that I got any spots that I might have missed, but also the fireworks have a shimmer to it. And I wanted that slight shimmer. So now I have already die cut my set of letters, I'm trying to figure out how to put them on here to spell out this particular granddaughter's name, which is Juliet. I started a little bit too far over to the left, but that's okay. I've got a fix for that um, that I'm going to work on later. Um, let's see here. And so I am using that electric orange to dab the through the stencil that I made. Just out of 110 pound cardstock, I just cut the whole off of it. And I'll set this in the package and I will uh, use it again if I'm using orange. So there we have her name and I'm going to dry that real quick and then I'll move on to the fun part. It's all fun. But here we go with my Versamark and I am just stamping the Versamark all over the sun. Yes, it did pick up the color a bit, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. And then I am putting on my clear embossing powder. You will see I moved it to another container besides the envelope that it comes in, but that's personal preference. I think for me, it's easier to get it back into this little container than the little bag. So now I am inking up the rest of the sun. The reason why I did it this way was because I couldn't tell where I started with the Versamark and where I finished. So I figured with the powder on there, I would be able to see. So now I'll put the rest of the powder away and put the container away before I spill it because I am prone to do that. And now I'm going to melt the Versamark. I don't know why I always tend to go off the screen like that, but at least I remembered and pulled it back. So now I am melting the Versamark all around the frame. And we're almost done here. I really do love the way this project turned out. I hope you do too. 
while here I am, you know, using all these inks and everything, I'm going to go get some more of these frames. I have, oh my goodness, I have three other granddaughters and a grandson that I can make projects for. I had to actually think for a minute there. Um, so I'll be going back to get more frames so that I can uh, make them for them as well. So everything will be linked in the description box below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I will get to your questions as soon as I can. Here we go with my frame for little Juliet and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.